So we're doing the Toronto Appreciation Tour, and this is our Montreal stop. Uh -huh. uh, you, we in fact named the documentary Let's All, All Hate Toronto after a book by a comedian. He said he knew that everyone in Canada hates Toronto because he's a comedian and he travels across the country. You as a, as a guy who's been across the country, is this true? Does Canada hate Toronto? I have to say yes, and it pains me. Uh, I have to say, when I uh, lived in Vancouver, uh, I, I hated Toronto, but it was born out of ignorance. I, I didn't know. When I moved to Toronto, uh, I fell in love with a Toronto girl who showed me uh, the error of my ways. Uh, you know, it's a great country, Canada, and the people are basically the same, you know, from um, uh, BC to the one at the other side. Um, Toronto it does get a bad rap. People think that they're, I think, snobby and uh, whatever, but they, they're just regular people. It's time to embrace Toronto. They need it. They may seem tough on the outside, but inside they're just like little girls who need some love, and it's time for the other provinces to do that. When I first moved to Toronto from Vancouver, I thought, why is everyone uh, not looking at me? Or yeah. not looking at anybody. Right. Uh, and I realized it was uh, October and there was uh, high winds and if you looked up your eyes would actually tear and right. be painful. So everybody was sort of looking down. Right. So that's what it was for that, for October. Right. The CN Tower stands erect looking over the city uh, with a proudness that befits a giant phallic symbol. If there's one fault, maybe we're a little more human really? than others. Maybe we feel a little more. Yeah. Uh, if you cut us, do we not bleed? Do, exactly. If you uh, insult our hockey team, do we not get really upset? Yeah. You know, we do. Perhaps these years of trying to pretend, you know, we're not hearing the insults and yeah, you know, we're above this. Maybe, maybe it's time for, uh, Toronto needs some healing. Do we have to wait until uh, one of us is on our deathbed? before the country can say, I was just kidding, I really love you, man. Pull through, pull yeah. through. It's, it's time to appreciate Toronto. Appreciate it. Yeah, you don't always have to love what you appreciate. Come on, Canada. One little, two little, three Canadians, as we said in 1967. I didn't know what it meant then. I don't really know what it means now. Stop trying to tear down Toronto to make yourself feel better. Build yourself up. Stop Montreal down. needs a good woman to sort of mold them into the thing they should be. A good Toronto woman. Is that how you cleaned up your act? That's how I totally cleaned up my act. I became such a, uh, such a better, well-rounded person since I, I, I met my wife. I, I learned to cook. I learned to take care of her every need. And uh, I became uh, a better listener. I became more open to people. I was always very shy. You started changing light bulbs. I changed because I would be envious of other people. Uh, you know, Ryan Stiles, so tall, and Drew Carey is so rich. And then I thought, no, I have a lot to offer. And it took me this Toronto woman to show me. And where do you live now? Toronto. All right, man.